This is Mr. Count, who came in with nausea and vomiting and dehydration. Okay. He has a history of colon cancer and mm -hmm. had been getting chemo. Okay. But he has not been able to hold anything down for the past three days. Right. I started him on D5LR mm -hmm. at 125 through a 20 gauge okay. in his right arm. And I gave him 8 milligrams of Zofran about 30 minutes ago. Okay. Come in. Hi, good morning. Hello. How are you? My name is Kristen. I'm going to be your nurse um, today. Okay. I'm just coming in to just do a few things with you, but before we start... I want you to tell me what your name and date of birth is. Uh, Curtis Counts, January 17, 19XX. Okay. Okay, Mr. Counts, I'm coming in pretty much to finish, to complete your admission database. It, was, it wasn't completed, and I'm going to do a physical assessment on you as well. Oh, man, do we have to do that now? I feel the, awful. The doctor has already asked him about a million questions. Do we have to do this right now? Unfortunately, yes, we do. I know you're really tired right now. Um, but we just need to complete it so that we can be able to get better, a better plan of care for him so that we can take care of him and take care of his needs. It won't take too long, um, and I promise I'll be as fast as I can so that I can get you to sleep afterwards. Okay, may I ask who you are? All right. Oh, I'm, I'm Kurt. Nice, nice to, to meet, you. meet you. You're his... I'm his son. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So before we start, I just want to ask you, do you know where you are? Oh, yeah. Can you... College Hospital. Do you know what the date is today? Uh, May 7th, right? Yes. And uh, why are you here? Well, I've been throwing up for the past three days, and I'm so dry, and I just need some help. Okay. So why don't I go ahead and take some vital signs from you first, and then um, I will do the physical part a few minutes from now. I'm just going to ask you, can I just... So I hear that you've, um, you've been taking chemo. Yeah, the past several weeks been rough. Is it for the um, colon cancer that you have? Yeah, that, that tumor, it, it, I guess it's huge. They have to drink it with some chemo and then they're going to do surgery. When was the last time you had chemo? Oh, I guess it was earlier this week. Okay. How do you, it looks like you're pretty wiped out from it. You look very tired, and I know sometimes that can happen with yeah. the chemo. After that last treatment, I just can't stop throwing up. What I'm going to do right now, are you okay right now? Do you have any nausea? Oh, uh, I think that medicine the other nurse gave me self in a little bit. Okay, so just let me know. You can stop me at any time that I'm doing this, so that, um, and let me know if you're having any nausea or if you need um, some medication, okay? Okay. All right. I'm going to check your blood pressure really quick, so I'm going to pump up the cuff just to get a baseline, and then I'm, I'll pump it again a second time. Okay. okay. Seems like you really know what you're doing. Yeah, I've been doing this for a while. All right, here we go. All right, so why don't I just check your heart rate right now. So I'm going to just feel down here for your pulse, and I'll... Get in 114, so your heart feels like it's racing. Um, your pulse feels very, a little weak, but it's very regular. Um, it just feels like it's beating a little faster, but it's be probably because you're so dehydrated, so your heart is just trying to help compensate for the um, lack of fluids that you have. Okay? All right, so now what I'm gonna do, let me just put this up here. I just wanna get your temperature, okay? Open your mouth. All 
Now you gotta open your eyes for me. Okay, there you go, good. There we go. 98.6. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay. That is a normal temperature. That medicine's making me sleepy. I know. It's that Zofran. That's one of the side effects of it. It makes you very drowsy, and I know you're already tired enough already, so. I'm wiped out. I know. So I'm, I'm, this won't be too long. I just want to put this bed down so I can go on the other side. Here. And... All right, so I know you came in with the nausea vomiting, so why don't we just start, I'm gonna just check your, your abdomen here, and then I can just, I'll check your lungs and I'll check your heart, and then we can just finish the rest of the assessment from there. Okay. So, um, how many times, have you had any diarrhea at all? Yeah, I've been going a lot. How many times have you um, had a bowel movement today? Today, oh, seven or eight times. It's like water. At least. At least. Oh, no, terrible. Have you vomit? You've been vomiting too a lot. Yeah. How many no, times? Not. A lot. Three or four times. Okay. So, um, is it okay if I just, um, I'm gonna just lift your gown up here so I can expose your abdomen and I get a better listen to your your abdomen and um, take a look at your skin down here as well. Is it okay if your stem stays in here while I do oh, this? Oh yeah, yeah, he's okay. been helping me a lot. So I'm, I've seen a lot worse. <laughs> so I'm just gonna push this down a little bit. All right. Now I'm gonna take a listen and you know, I've wiped up my stethoscope already so it shouldn't be. It's cold. I know, I'm sorry. Hearing a lot of gurgling in there. It's probably because you've been having so much diarrhea. Yeah. All right. So now what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna press down. I want to get a, you know, feel for how your abdomen feels. So I'm gonna press very lightly and very deeply. So let me know if at any time you have any discomfort. Do you have any pain right now at all there? No pain right now. Okay. So just let me know. I'm gonna start off really light. Any pain at all when I do that? No. Okay. Any pain at all when I do that here? Any no, press down? No I'm gonna pain. go a little deeper. How about over here? I'm gonna start oh, off light. Ow, 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 okay, okay. You're all right, right. so I'm just gonna not Seven. press any further there. I'm gonna go on this side here. Press light. Any pain at all? A little bit. A little bit here? Yeah. Okay, so it seems like you're hurting a lot on the left lower part and a little bit on the right lower section as well. Yeah. Okay. I think that's the tumors over there. The tumors, okay. Yeah. I did feel um, a little bit of some um, masses over there. So how long um, did the doctor say you're going to be on the chemotherapy? I think another six rounds. Okay. If I can make it. All right. And they're planning on having any surgery? I don't see any scars at all right now in your in your abdomen. It look, no, your skin looks very... Surgery after the chemo's done. Okay. Your skin looks very um, warm. It feels warm and it looks intact there. All right. So now what I want to do is I'm going to check your lungs and I'm going to check your heart at the same time. Is it going to be okay if I um, sit you up? Yeah, go ahead. And while I'm doing that... Do you have any trouble urinating at all? No. How do you use the do you how do you um use the bathroom when you have to urinate? Do you use a um, urinal? Are you able to get up or do you I can usually make it to the bathroom. Okay. Any burning at all? Um does it hurt? Do you take does it take a long time for you to start your flow? No, no okay. problems. And the color, what color is it when you usually when you pee? It's been dark. When I when I get to the back part to help me sit you up, but I'm just gonna pull your gown down. It's okay, right? Yeah. Okay. So what I want you to do is I'm sorry. Did you have? Just let me know what I gotta do. Anything to help. Okay. Thank you. I'm just gonna check your lungs and just take some slow deep breaths for me in and out. If at any time you start feeling dizzy, just please let me know so that I can stop. Um, 
And let me just take a look here. I'm just gonna just pinch a little bit here. I just wanna see how your skin, um, I'm sorry. I just wanted to check your hydration status and it looks like it's taken a very, a little longer than normal for your skin to bounce back. So I think you, you might be um, dehydrated. So that, but that's why we're giving you these IV fluids, so that it can help to hydrate you a lot faster. And I don't see any rashes or any scars up here, so everything looks pretty good. So why don't we just go ahead and, um, let's go ahead and listen to you. One more deep breath for me and check your lungs over here. All right. Does it sound okay? It sounds pretty clear. Have you had any cough? Um, any congestion at all? No, I haven't been coughing much since I stopped smoking. Okay, so you smoke. How long did you smoke for? Oh, I smoked for a long time. Mm -hmm. But I quit about two years ago. Okay, well that's good. I'm glad you quit. It's going to help a lot with your health. But your lungs sound um, in the front so far, sounds clear. I'm not hearing any congestion, but I just wanted to ask if you've been like, having any cough or any cold lately just to kind of get a better idea of yeah. that system. And your heart seems to be beating very well. I checked the different regions of it, but everything seems to be fine. And your skin looks very good. Um, I didn't see any rashes or any... Um, moles or anything like that on there. Um, can you help me just sit them up? Oh, yeah, sure. Yeah, Are you going to be okay sick. sitting up a little further? I'm just going to take a, f a few seconds just to check your lungs in the back. Are you going to be okay if we help if, you sit if up? If Kurt helps me, I think I'll be okay. Okay, all right. I can help you, Dad. Okay, yeah. so on three, I'm just going to help. All right, so just go so forward. Weak. Yes, one, oh. two, three. All right. Oh. Well, I got you, Dad. Okay. Can you take some slow deep breaths from me, all right? Okay, almost done. All right, I just want to get a uh, just a quick look of his back here, skin back here. I don't see any pressure points. His skin looks nice. It feels very warm. It's intact. No rashes or anything. Okay, there we go. We can go back. Oh man. You're not having any chest pain or any dizziness at all. No. All right. Okay. So. Out. You are. I'll be done. I'm. I'm. I'll be done soon. Okay. But let me just do here. Do you have any numbness at all? No. No. Okay. I think so. Okay. And there's one thing that I want to do while I'm up here. Can you just look straight ahead at me? I want to check your your pupils. I want to see how they react to light. Okay. Just keep looking straight ahead. All right. You blinked there. <laughs> there we go. All right. Keep looking straight ahead. I'm going to do something called, we call this accommodation. I want to see how your eyes um, react to far and distance um, vision. So okay. just keep looking straight ahead at me. I'm going to put my finger, just keep looking straight. Uh, I want you to focus on my finger right now. I'll try. All right, good. All right, they're reacting the way that they should. Good. So that's really good. Please, something's working. Let me check your skin while we're up here. So far, everything looks pretty well. It's nice and warm, intact. Do you have any um, numbness, tingling at all as I press down? Not there, no. Okay, why don't I check your pulses over here? I know I had felt it earlier, but I just wanna make sure that they're equal to both 
arms and it feels equal here. Um, do you have any tenderness at all or numbness or tingling at all? It feels a little numb down there. The, the duck said it was from the chemo. My okay. feet are a little numb. A little numb. All right. So I'll keep up, make a note of that so that we can let the doctor know. Yeah. But you know, it's definitely for the, from the chemo. It's nothing else that they've been that they've told you. No, oh, you've fallen no. asleep. I'm I know. tired. I'm really done tired. So. But I don't see any swelling here, so that's really good. Let me just feel your pulses down here in your feet. Just to make sure that they're both equal for me, which they are, nice and strong and equal. And I'm going to go to the side of your feet, right where your ankle region is, and just press a little deep so that I can feel your pulse there as well on the side. And they're both equal and both strong. I'm just going to press lightly down on your toe here just to see how fast the blood rushes back to your nail bed. And it's less than two seconds, so that's great. I just wanted to feel the warmth in your legs. It tells me that your circulation is very good. Everything feels nice and warm, both sides. Okay, and like I said, we'll finish the rest of that um, range of lotion a little later, because I know you want to get some sleep right now. Yeah. Is there anything else that I can do for you while I'm here? Mm, no, I don't think so. How is your nausea? It's getting better. I think I'm just going to try to go to sleep. Maybe when I wake up, I'll feel better. Okay. Just let me know if you need anything at all. I'm just going to make sure that your call button is still over here. And here it is. And I'm just going to leave his call button here so just um, you can press it if he needs anything. Or if you need anything, you can press okay. it as well. You okay? hear that, Dad? You yeah. can press that button if you need to. Do yeah. you want your hat back? Yeah, I'll put it back okay. a little bit. Of course. Yes. We can do that. Kurt, you're going to go check Let on me your help mom? you. Of course I will, Dad. Okay. All I'll right. make sure she's doing all right, too. I appreciate that. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to take a little nap here now. You want to take a little nap? Okay, do you want me to put the bed down? The yeah. head of the bed down a little bit? Yeah. Make sure the bed is low and let me know when you want me to stop. Yeah, that's good there, yeah. Okay, all right. Thanks a lot. You're very welcome. Let me know if you need anything again, okay? All right. All right. So I'm just going to go finish all his paperwork and if I have any other questions, I'll just come in and.